Kenawa of the African Thunder here, and we're broadcasting live from the Milk Drop. And you already know, we done came all the way out from Houston, Texas. And what's crazy, we've got somebody who is making a name and a stamp and just leaving it everywhere <laughs> from Tennessee to Texas to Georgia and came by way of Louisiana. We're here with my guy, the livest to ever do it, okay. MC Fiji. Okay. What's going on, bro? No hype me up. Don't hype me up like that. I ain't I feel good right now. I feel like I was on BET right now. Hey, look, hey, hey this is just what we aspiring to get at. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Like, but you know, hey, you know. A lot of people have been, you know what I'm saying, seeing me promote, uh -huh. you know, MC Fiji, you know what I'm saying, Ray Drop, oh, MC Fiji. Uh -huh. Some people are like, okay, so MC Fiji, tell us a little something about this. For the people who don't know who MC Fiji is, who are you? Listen, I'm the liveest man to ever pick up a mic and I stand on it. I, uh, I was raised like that. I was raised in a family where fun was everywhere, you know what I'm saying? We made the best of our living. My dad was a DJ, so we had to wake up to going to school six, seven in the morning to him playing, I'll stand. <laughs> so it's just one of them things that was kind of naturally you know, on me. Yeah. So from there, I seen the world from a mic. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Look, and now looking at all that, I mean, it seems that you're, I mean, obviously your, your, your family has done a great job oh. at passing down these entertainment genes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about like the different things you're known for. Cause I mean, I see MC, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I done seen like, I done seen some music. Mm -hmm. I also hear that you're, you know what I'm saying? A chef, or as you say, a, a hood chef. A hood chef, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, you, you, you know, a man of, you know, many talents. Yeah. Like let's, I guess we'll start with your first, um, what, what was your first passion that you started? Uh, MCing was my first passion. I mean, music and MCing was the whole thing. Like I said, my dad used to quiz us on music. Okay. Um, who's that? What's this? So now when I hear samples from different songs, I already know. You know, it's the guy band. I already know. It's Parliament. I already know. You know what I'm saying? So. Music and entertainment was always my thing because I always wanted to laugh, I always wanted yeah. to have fun. And I never knew what my passion was until I got to college. Mm. Until I got into throwing parties and I finally picked up a mic and I seen everybody listen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or if I say do this, raise your right hand, everybody did it. So that kind of gave me a platform to like go even further with it to start music, uh, open my restaurant, and even be on the radio, you know? Nice, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this now. I know you said, um, let, let's go jump into the music aspect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, how did you get into music? Being an MC. Mm -hmm. So, went to Grammar State, uh, mm -hmm. shout out to Grammar State one time. And um, I just, like I said, it was at a, a fashion show. The, the MC wasn't doing too well, so, mm -hmm. They asked me to get on stage. And I was nervous at first. Oh, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was nervous. I was in the crowd. I was in a real true story. I was in the crowd and it was like, man, get on stage. Like, you could do this. Because like, I played around at little events. Mm -hmm. It was like, man, go up there. So I made the crowd laugh. I made them turn up. And from there, it was just like, wow. So to fast forward, uh, I gave myself this name, MC Fiji, mm -hmm. where the people gave it to me. and. I got blamed for everything that happened at the party. Mm -hmm. so I'm on the mic and everybody's getting drunk, yeah. or hairstyle, anything. Yeah. You know, we went from hashtag Fiji made me do it. Okay. So that hashtag turned into a whole no music. So Man, no that's song. crazy. And then like TikTok, y'all, if you haven't heard it, you know, Fiji made me do it. You know, it's like, <laughs> it is, look, listen to the, the take right now. Like, <laughs> it's right there. Um, the, the video's crazy. Um, he's having like a great time. And this is the type of things that we love to see. You know, mm -hmm. not just from, you know what I'm saying, artists, like all entertainers. We mm -hmm. want to see them having fun doing their craft. Yeah. And that's one thing we definitely see you doing. Yeah, yeah. So like, but, and even looking into all those things, I mean, like you said, Fiji made me do it. Um, mm -hmm. You even went on uh, Mama House. Like, Mama House, that's your heart. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mama House. <laughs> <hard. laughs> uh, I think Mama House came after the song I'm Lit. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm a lit dance one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah, I, I know a little move. So, so that that took that took another. It just kept inclining because mm -hmm. the lit song is like I think that stamped forever. Yeah, like that is like one of the things I think I'm gonna be known for for a long time. Yeah, it's always gonna be Fiji. Maybe do a blame Fiji, but I'm lit is one of those like 
family reunion song. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? You can play it everywhere in your car mm -hmm. before you can work out. So that got me to a platform to get to my mom's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Deezy, Papa, and shout out to AHA for the Mama House feature. You know? Yeah. It was dope. It was dope. Dope experience. Hey, what's up? Yeah. And now, I mean, it seems that, you know, every aspect that you've been, you know, been involved with, everything has been success, success, success. Mm -hmm. And even going on, I know we were talking, you know, before, and mm -hmm. you're telling about how everything happened. So, like, it happened so fast. Like, yeah. you know, tell me about that process. How was it to adjust or, you know, figure it out? Uh, it was, it was something to adjust to. I think I was built for it already. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I put a background to a lot of entertainment. Um, I shadowed a lot of people that were dealing with entertainment. Um, so once I got that call to, you know, to bigger heights and seeing certain things and, I uh, went to LA and one of my frat brothers introduced me to a guy that, um, I don't know his real position, but he, he works for Epic Records. Mm -hmm. And he explained to me saying that, you know, the platform you have now, you don't need us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Stay independent and work towards your craft. But wow. it was just fast. It's less than, I want to say from 2016 to 2017, a lot of stuff changed my life. Mm -hmm. So I kind of had to step back, like, whoa. Like, mm -hmm. Making real money now, I'm being popular. I don't want to get caught up and sucked into that world. Yeah. Because sometimes it can be a facade, and sometimes you can use it to your advantage. That's what I did, use it to yeah. my advantage. That's one of those things yeah. I feel like a lot of people definitely miss. You oh, know, yeah. To sit down and take yeah. a step back. <laughs> yeah. we, we all need, like, any artist that jumps in the game, I don't want, and that's the advice I give anybody. Jump, don't jump into it because you have to hype for a year. Mm -hmm. Cause you could lose it for years. Always another yeah. artist coming right behind you. You need to take that chance to know and prepare and prepare a team to get you to the next level. Cause you can't do it by yourself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you need all that, all that suck it in, soak it in. Like they love you, but it's moments that they love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The music that they love. So you have to find something that's going to take you further into the music and branch off into other entities. Yeah. And I, and I'm glad that you even, you know, brought that up cause it's a great segue. You know, so. <laughs> Branching off into other entities, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously you're a businessman, oh, but you're also a hood chef. So tell us a little bit about that your business. Yo! Because, know? uh, I, cause, I mean, okay, so the um, me jumping into restaurant business is most, like I said, that's the side of my mom. Yeah. So the passion of music is my dad, the side of cooking with my mom. Nice. And it was just like an epiphany. It was like something I woke up one morning, and you know, playing around with the graphics, and I was like, I'm open a restaurant. So I just started looking up a lot of things that people started from the Chick fil A, so you know, raising canes, and what black people don't like chicken, you know? Sure. That's one of the hottest things on the market right now. Mm -hmm. So I looked into it, I looked into buildings, and I kind of just dumped my investments from music into my chicken spot. So I opened up a spot by Grammy State University. Nice. Uh, who made me do it? Who made me do it? Yeah. That's the name of the restaurant. Who made me do it? Okay, so when they walk in after, like, they, you be like, Fiji, but they have to say, Fiji made me do it. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's what they say. So it's, it's, it's real, real cool. It's real, real culture. Mm -hmm. I name a lot of my wings after uh, phrases from artists. Mm -hmm. I got wings called retarded. You know, Kevin Gates said that a lot. Yeah. Uh, I got badass wings, uh, nice. hot boy. So it's right. something, like I said, give a flavor between entertainment and. Food business. Nice, yeah, nice, yeah, 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 yeah. nice. And so, I mean, now you have one in, I would say, Louisiana. For sure. But then you're looking, are you looking to expand and get those places? Okay, before places? COVID, we was looking to expand Dallas. Mm -hmm. So I was really, that was my thing. I was just kept looking into how much was it cost, looking at talking to different investors, like wanting to make it bigger than what it was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a vision. Like, I still have that vision. I still have that fire burning inside to want to make it a, a, a a chain. Yeah. So uh, the COVID thing kind of stopped a lot, but it gave me some position to kind of really think about the marketing scheme, the plans, the flow plans, um, you know, investments, financial investments, mm -hmm. the whole nine. So just trying to, like I said, I'm building my team around family, nice. you know, family and friends. So shout out to my business partner, Mike B. Shout out to my cousin Brandon and a few other guys that's going to, you know, continue to push forward to make the business big. Nice. You know? yeah. nice. So I guess what's your next big thing? I mean, because looking at all these things, I mean, like, obviously COVID is not stopping anything. It may have slowed it down, but it's not stopping. Yeah, it's not. You stopping a hustler anything. ain't stopping. Like, you you drove here, so oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, it's not it's not it's not stopping. You know? made me do it. It just gave people 
people understand gave them time because you gotta think some people been working their tails off. I'm like, I don't wanna curse, I don't know if you- No, no, it's all good, everybody. Working their ass off, yeah. okay? <laughs> so people working their ass off and they working a nine to five and they never had time to just sit and say, damn, mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna start some stuff for myself, you yeah. know? So I think COVID gave everybody that time to just think about what they wanna do, the yeah. reflection. So it didn't really stop. Some people, if you was lazy before COVID, you lazy right now. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? If you was a hustler and you woke up nine to five every day, you got to work on time, you made sure your kids got on the bus, you was a hustler. You was a motherfucking hustler. Yeah. Because now you got a time you don't have a job and you looking for a secondary or you looking for another platform to make money. And I yeah. think COVID gave that to a lot of people to, you know, you got those resources for the SBAs and unemployment and use that money towards opening something that you want to do. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So I like that. I like yeah, that. man. You know, philosopher. Philosopher. Okay. So yeah, we got another. We got another job. For there. sure. Today. Philosopher. I do it all. <laughs> so I mean, I, now as far as you go, I mean, what what should people have to look forward to um, coming from you within the next few, whether it be the next few weeks, next few months? Mm -hmm. What are we looking forward to? We're looking forward right now to just expand the business. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, that was my baby, my first business. I, I, it was some up and downs, and that's a lot of stuff we don't talk about the L's. Mm -hmm. You got to count your wins with your losses. You know what I'm saying? Because it is a learning block for everybody. Uh, but it's just one of those things that I don't want really to give up on. I don't feel like yeah. I'm a guy to give up on anything. So mostly, I'm torn in between the two because I got them phone calls to continue to do music. I'm going to continue to write music, but I'm not going to record until you know my business is at a yeah. point of you know, striving yeah. for real. And um, so mostly you got to look in the next couple of weeks, school had just started back up. They're begging for the wings, so I'm gonna give them the wings. Okay, I feel it. Give them the wings. I feel it, give them the wings. And what, what, what's, what, what's uh, I guess the, give me give me your top three flavors that you got. Top three sellers, I got Retard. The okay. Retard is something different, you know. And then I got this maple barbecue called Badass. Um, and we have a lemon pepper wet that's called, you know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, so when you okay. bite that, you gotta get aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, that's my that's my go-to. But people come in and they mix flavor. And that's the crazy thing mm -hmm. about it. Being in the restaurant business, people show me different ways of excite recycling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, let me get the badass mix with this. And I'm like, damn. You know, you mm -hmm. might drop my thing, I'm like, damn, I'm not the, you know, give another name to mm -hmm. it. So I mean, that's a business I think I'm, I'm going to fall in love with and be in love with for a while. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's it, awesome. man. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome man. You want to try some wings? I, I, I can shit. whip some up right now if you want me to. Well, say less. There's like, chicken in the trunk. Know. Say less. Look, got a whole bird I can chop down it. in the trunk right now. Hit it right now. Shit, see, we got, a, we got a stove. We got this gas stove that they gave with this old ass apartment. That's all good. Nah, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. Uh, you tough. definitely like gave us, uh, you know, a lot mm -hmm. more. You know that I, I feel like a lot of people missed mm -hmm. um, like what it takes in order to really like get to you know the position that you're in. Yeah. You know, get known. Mm -hmm. um, but then also, just like you said, you gotta count the L's yeah. with the wins. You know what I'm saying? And you can't give up on nothing you believe. Like that's another thing people understand, yeah. man. I don't care what you see on my Instagram because they probably didn't see me. I didn't sit down for a whole month. Yeah. So from the beginning of July, I went from Vegas mm -hmm. to Houston to Dallas to Miami to what else? To Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So but it was it was pleasure, but it was business at the same time because I'm sitting with people that want to invest in what I got going in my life. Yeah. And that's the same thing people understand. Like, it looks fun, mm -hmm. but it came with a grind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you wanna do. I don't care if you want to pay Tony or the man. Whatever you want to do, don't let nobody to tour you of what you love to do yeah. or what you want to do because everything makes dollars. Yeah. Everything makes, every person has a dollar sign over here because they're going to spend on something that they don't do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it's an entity that they're not into, they want to know, they want a professional to do what they're going to pay for. So people that want to get into anything, you have to work. I don't know what you do. You're going to get that working, but when you get there, stay there. You know, stay on top, man. Okay. Philosopher. 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 Y'all better stop me. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. We got MC Feed in the building. He done gave us not only is he an artist, he's a hood chef, he's a philosopher. Um, keep it going, keep it going. Ooh.
Ooh, what? What was that? I do graphics. You do graphics? Oh, you do graphics? Okay, come on, okay. okay. I'm sure part time, but COVID slow down. Okay, okay. It's virtual okay. now. Okay, well, you know they got the little, um, yeah, with the social distance yeah. stripping as well. I'm on Zoom. Yeah, I see my Zoom. See, I'm on, on OnlyFans. Only oh, okay. Zoom, I'm on Zoom. I'll see your link tonight. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all check this out. The link will be below. So, <laughs> right here on YouTube. <laughs> Hey man, I appreciate you coming through and just yeah, brother. Indeed, Always. brother. Stay blessed. Uh, yes, yeah, stay blessed. Amen. Hey, especially during this COVID. Good <laughs> gosh. Stay covered, stay blessed. Brother Jesus. Stay healthy, y'all. <laughs> Keep it locked right here. You're still rocking with your boy Kim All the African Thunder and MC Fiji yeah. on the Mill Drop. Yes, sir. Fiji made me do it, so I did it right now. I hot on the beat, so you know I got it right now. I gotta do it for my mama. Get her out the drama. Every time I hear my knees, I'm praying for some extra commas. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. My life will move it, but it's never being televised. They like, feed you, don't you do that. You gotta get the bag and don't you look that.